In what looks like an interesting turn of events, Autodesk has now announced that two of its products are now available as open source, Autodesk RV and Autodesk Aurora. Autodesk Aurora is Autodesk interactive path tracing renderer that leverages the power of your GPU to create some stunning images. As an interactive renderer, this supports rapid design iteration in the viewport and Aurora also ships with the USD Hydra render delegate. Aurora also relies on hardware accelerated ray tracing, runs on Windows, Mac and Linux and it is designed with the intention of faster iteration within the viewport rather than final frame quality. This runs on GPUs from AMD, Apple, Intel and also Nvidia. Aurora is currently designed and maintained by Autodesk and it is now declared as open source under the Apache license with feature requests and contributions welcomed by the folks at Autodesk and its code will soon be shared at the Autodesk open source repository. Now this isn't the only tool that Autodesk has announced to be open source, RV is also going open source. RV is Autodesk professional grade media player technology that that allows VFX, animation artists, production teams to seamlessly view high quality images and sequences in real time and compare different versions while collaborating on a project. This is definitely coming as a very interesting turn of event with Amazon releasing its entire Thinkbox suite of products as open source alongside with licenses a few days ago and as well DreamWork also announced Moonray which is their industry grade award winning render engine open source as well. And with Autodesk weighing into the open source market things might just become very exciting in the coming years. And with a state from Autodesk saying that we are committed to helping creators envision a better world and having access to great tools allow them to do just that. So we are making RV our SciTech award-winning media review and playback software open source. And as part of the founding members of ASWF, which the Academy of Motion Pictures and Art Science launched in 2018 under the Linux Foundation umbrella, with the organization's goal to encourage the use of open source software across the motion picture industry to streamline global collaboration, it is pretty neat to see that Autodesk is taking this direction. The SVP Media and Entertainment at Autodesk went on to say that sharing our desktop media player with the open source community is the next natural step in our journey to embrace cloud workflow and open standard, like Material X, Open Timeline IO, and USD. At a time when demand for content is at an all-time high, we are excited to create new opportunities and resilience for the industry. And along with this, Autodesk aren't the only persons that are contributing to this announcement. The CTO of Animalogic also pitched in and he went on to say that RV is critical to our animation pipeline and this allows us to share our integration with the industry. It's similar to what we've done with Autodesk and Pixar to integrate our Animalogic USD Maya toolset into Autodesk supported Maya USD plugin. As they did with their contribution to OpenColor.io, Autodesk is once again demonstrating its commitment to open source by sharing foundational libraries and toolsets that will help push the industry forward. And for most of you guys that have no idea that Autodesk actually has a set of open source tools, then you probably need to check it out. There is actually an Autodesk open source website that contains most of the tools that they've released as open source. And for sure, for those who like to take a look at these, probably you would like to download RV right now and start playing with it. RV is currently available for Windows, Linux and Mac and at the point of recording there is literally no detail about what the licensing would look like but I believe this is also going to be under the Apache license just like they did with the Aurora renderer. If you also go over to the open source page you would also notice that this hasn't been added there yet. The codes as well hasn't been added to the GitHub repo and right now we have no idea if there is any restrictions of usage. So this is more like it. Tools from Autodesk are going open source and hopefully we'll start seeing some of those from Adobe also join the bandwagon. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.